this table is extremely disorganized at the moment and probably at all times every time i'm creating content it's taking me longer to get ready because i film i take care of the camera i do stuff like that so i always end up spending way more time on this whole process that's why i'm starting early today because even though the whole thing is gonna happen like in the evening it's still like a full day and i'm gonna explain to you what's going on today and what we are filming today there is this person she is also a piano teacher and she is organizing a piano concert she's gonna play uh, swan lake and the children she loves to play piano she, they're gonna probably play some carols or something so for this whole little event she needed someone to film it and the person who's gonna film it it's me so um we're gonna go there today later today and this whole event is gonna be held at the old casino in arad and that is the building where Arad Fashion Days happened this year. If you saw the vlog, now that's the location, but it's gonna be, of course, held inside, which has beautiful interiors, and hopefully I'm gonna have the time to take a picture of myself, because I want a picture of myself there. And yeah, we are filming that event, and usually I don't like to mix vlogging and work, because I just wanna mix it up, but... It's gonna be a day i'm just gonna be by myself i'm gonna walk i'm gonna see beautiful things so i decided to start this vlog and first of all we're gonna just get ready you can tell i'm already on with the filming content situation when you see the lights behind turn on i am using this foundation for the first time is the maybelline superstay superstay what 30 hour foundations now i'm not gonna wear it for 30 hours I already applied it on half of my face and I'm impressed. I like it. It's kind of a bit... Um, it has like a cooler pinkish undertone, which is a bit pink for me. As you can see on my neck, I am I have quite a warm undertone, even though I am super pale. But I will fix the undertone with powders and other stuff like that. I mean, it's not the end of the world. I got to this place in my life where I know how to adjust my foundation shade, so I don't have any problem with the undertone. It was also the only, like, the lighter shade I found on the website when I got it. I think they also have it in, like, a warmer undertone, but that was out of stock. So I went for this one. Which is fine, you can see it's super bright, super light, but that's fine because every time I go in with powders, blush and all that stuff, I end up being like darker than my neck, so I, I always have to adjust the whole thing, but now I think I'm gonna be perfect. And yeah, I feel like an event is like the perfect moment to try out new foundations, why not? But I, I have trust in this one because... As I see it when I apply it right now, it's super liquidy, by the way. Uh, it has a medium coverage, medium to high coverage. And I feel like it's really gonna last a long time. I mean, especially on my skin, everything lasts on my skin. So I don't have oily skin. My skin is quite normal. Sometimes it can get dry, but at the moment... It's normal. By the way, up, I uploaded a bunch of shorts and I was thinking at some point, is the beauty content community dead? The answer is no, it just adjusted. I feel like the makeup TikToks, the makeup reels, and even the makeup shorts go really well. People just wanna see it quickly, not that many informations because I feel like we got to a point where everyone has an idea of how things should work, especially on the makeup application process and stuff. They don't literally need actual tutorials. They kind of need just the basic information about the good products. Tell me what, which are the good products so I have an idea about them. This is kind of how it works right now. And from the shorts I uploaded, there are a few 
makeup shorts that did really well so guess I'm gonna upload more on that when it comes to makeup I mean I also add makeup in my vlogs but vlogs are vlogs so they're not just about makeup and now to wrap up this foundation story it has a matte finish it gets dry I mean you can go without using a powder with this one I'm still gonna apply powders though um, in the long run I feel on a dry skin it can make it drier so I wouldn't recommend this foundation to dry skin um, it's gonna work perfectly on normal uh, mixed how it how it's called a combination skin and oily skin and I was about to wipe off the foundation from my hand I don't know if you can see but I already tried to wipe it off and I feel like it's gonna be super long lasting and you'll probably need like an oily type of makeup remover to remove this foundation off of your skin what I actually wanted to tell you is that yesterday I had like a little photo shoot here in the room um, and I had like a under eye blush makeup and I kind of fell in love with the look so I'm gonna do something similar today it's just that I'm gonna go a bit lighter yesterday I went with a lot of color today I'm just using like bigger brush with this blush and I'm gonna just under eye blush myself for today's makeup I feel like this under eye situation with a blush just makes all the face look more alive and sweet and if you also add a bit of sparkles it's just beautiful at least in my opinion so see why it's better to start early getting ready because I always like do stories film extra things post things at the same time I'm basically working as I'm getting ready so something really annoying that always happens to me is this these black things on my heels I'm not sure if it's just from the other heel because it has like a black bottom and when accidentally scratching them um, I get them like a black thing here it also can be from the car because I'm always driving in heels also in these ones I drive a lot and the way to wipe this out even though it doesn't last for long the way to clean these type of situations is nail polish remover I'm gonna just apply a bit of this this one has 99% acetone so it's a really strong one I saw that the normal ones don't really do a thing but this strong one is gonna clean out these were not expensive and it's a good reason not to for me at least not to invest in expensive shoes because I wear them so much until I destroy them so I just go for affordable ones I'm enjoying them and when they are done, they are done. I'm not upset about anything. I will give myself 10 minutes until I manage to take them back to the dirty situation. So this is the shoe I cleaned and this is the other one which is currently not cleaned out. As you can see it has all the black spots, black scratches. So, as I said, nail polish remover does the job. And if you're wondering, won't you freeze if you're wearing heels? The answer is no. Look what I got. These are super fluffy socks. They're just like simple. I'm gonna wear pants, so they're just super fluffy and warm socks. And I'm just gonna have to try them on to see how I feel wearing this in the heels. Just to check if it's not too like, oh, that's fine. <laughs> gonna have like the pant here, so it's great. This is my outfit of the day. I got the pumps with the tight socks. As I told you, I'm gonna be super warm. Then I got these thrifted pants that are kind of Burberry inspired. The oversized blazer is also secondhand from my mother's wardrobe. 
and under all of this i have this top which is that kind of super uh, tight on the body but kind of light and thin kind of top i don't know how to call it but it looks really nice and ties the outfit together i filmed the outfit of the day vertical video for the other medias <laughs> with a bag but unfortunately i won't be able to carry a bag on this outfit because i have to carry the camera bags with me i'm gonna have the other camera we're also bringing the tripod with me the other small tripod so i also not to forget the remote because i want to try to take some pictures of myself i'm gonna also put the viltrox 23 on the camera because it's more versatile for the type of work i have to do today and we are basically ready my camera bag looks so sad i'm not even sure where i put the uh, dividers but i i don't think i'm gonna need them so here i have the other camera which has the kit lens on um i thought about what lens i should need in that specific place and i feel like the kit lens i can make it even wider than 15 millimeters so i'm gonna take this camera with the kit lens to make it even wider for like a super large shot so i got this on i'm gonna put the viltrox on the current camera and i'm gonna also have with me the wide angle Okay, there you go. The wide angle adapter, so I will be able to vlog in between. After all, I decided to go with this backpack since I don't have to carry that much. I also decided to take the Sigma 56 with me, just in case. So I also have this here, the wallet, and I'm basically good to go. I would like to say good morning, but it's definitely not morning anymore, it's almost 3 p.m. So, we got the coffee, finally. I woke up earlier than this, around 12. Still not that early, but that's because I went to sleep around 3 a.m. last night. I started editing right away when I got home from the event. There was an almost an hour long video of the event that I filmed and I edited that. I had to insert like the other camera's angle because I filmed on two cameras. Basically I did the whole video and then I edited some other extra videos like for social media and stuff. I'm done with that finally and even though I would like to just stay chill and basically not do anything well it's still a work day even though we are just a couple of days till christmas and i don't want to think about it to be honest like when i think about christmas i think about all the cleaning i have to do and i still have work to do and i don't feel like doing cleaning because i already have other work to do so also have to wash my hair. Two days ago I did a photo shoot and I put mousse in my hair. Yesterday I managed to make it look decent. I didn't want to wash it because I was thinking maybe with that mousse from the other day it's gonna look okay. 
but yeah today it's already um, the time that I have to wire the hair and now I'm gonna just take care of some posts I remember those days when I used to have filming days and editing days now it's mixed everything and a lot of other things in between and here we are again right now I'm just filming the vlog but I have to take product swatches pictures I kind of missed some of those this month because December is more kind of centered around Christmas and holidays and with all the other content I had to shoot it just didn't happen so I have to I'm gonna use a white background and I'm gonna just swatch some of the new products that got to me my hands are kind of crusty I just read some articles online seems like I have some sort of tysis eczema something I don't know the words for these things but my hands get really dry in the colder season and apparently no hand cream can manage to do something about it when i have to go to the pharmacy maybe there i will find like a proper medicine for my situation so i'm gonna just try to maybe swatch them on the other part of the hand where my hand is basically okay so yeah that's what we are doing I feel like lately my content was kind of focusing on my work days and what I'm doing. Basically, that's what's happening in my life. I'm basically just working all day, so what else I'm about to film, right? And I'm gonna try to also include more fashion in my videos because, as I said in the last vlog, I think I have way too many clothes, so I should use them to create fashion content. Now I'm just swatching. I'm gonna show you in a moment what I'm swatching watching this is this beautiful shade of a lipstick crayon from bourgeois is the bourgeois velvet de pencil in the shade 12 peach mignon this is the swatch i'm gonna just take a picture of it feels so good to be fresh and now you can also see that I have curtain bangs I cut them last week but when I started this vlog I already had mousse in my hair and I feel like you couldn't really tell what's going on with the actual hair but now that it's freshly washed you can see it here it is so I had in my mind this idea of cutting some curtain bangs. I was looking through some of my old reels and TikToks and I really liked how I look with something to like contour the face overall. And I was thinking, okay, I wanna cut some bangs, but not like the straight one, but more like a curtain one. And like couple days, week two weeks later after that thought the company i work with to shoot product pictures sent me like a hair trimming set with uh, scissors uh, clips like comb stuff like that and i was like okay so that is like just right in time for my idea of cutting curtain bangs and this is my hair situation and i'm enjoying a cappuccino i just feel like in the winter time the cold season is just really nice to enjoy this kind of drinks besides the daily coffee i also have hot chocolate but i just felt like drinking i have this cappuccino that also have nut flavor to it so it's extra tasty so i don't know how long this vlog is gonna be i don't know how boring or not it's gonna be i'm just gonna see it when i'm gonna edit it but hopefully you liked it and stay tuned because i will be back with more shorts vlog content overall i just feel so inspired and i just want to share so subscribe like the video do all the good things and i'll see you next time bye